This is the Jetboil Flash. I've had it over a year. I've used it a few dozen times and it's time to do a proper review. The Jetboil is a cooking system for camping and backpacking. As the name suggests, it's best for boiling water, for tea, coffee and dehydrated meals. You can also use it for cooking and we'll talk about that in a bit. First, let's see what you get in the package and how it works. This is the pot. It's made from hard anodized aluminum, makes it stronger and more durable. It is not made from titanium. What you see around the pot is what Jetboil calls a cozy. This is some neoprene material and it will prevent your fingers from burning. If you have been boiling water for a long time and the pot can get hot and then you can just use this handle. The pot comes with a measuring cup. You can also use it as a small bowl. On top you have this lid. This is a silicon lid and it's packed with features. Let's have a look at it. First, we see this opening, which you can just use to pour water from. On the other side, you see a strainer if you want to cook some rice or pasta. The opening in the middle is for a French press if you want to make coffee with it. There's also a version of the Jetboil that comes with the Java kit. Inside the Jetboil, you can store a gas canister. This is a 100 gram gas canister. The Jetboil has a standard screw on which is compatible with most gas canisters. Next up is a stand for the gas canister. This allows you to put it on more uneven ground. It has openings for a small gas canister but it will also fit a larger one. And last but not least is the burner itself. You see that it's fairly closed off this will protect the flame from the wind just a little bit as well. This is the flame control. You need to flip it open before you mount it onto the gas canister. The pot attaches onto the burner like this. You need to slide it in and twist it just a little bit. And now it will just remain in place until you twist it again and then you can remove it. This is a great system because this allows you to use it on uneven surfaces, uh, potentially even hold it in the air as you're cooking. There's also a suspension kit that you can use to uh, have this jet boil suspended from a wire and you can boil water like that. So to use it on a gas canister, remember to flip this open first, then just put it on top and you will feel that the screw starts to hold. At a certain point, the gas will be released. So uh, as soon as you are uh, at this stage, you just need to move quite fast. If you've heard that, that was just a little bit of gas being released. Uh, not a problem, you might smell it uh, just a little bit as well. That's totally normal. Just make sure you're being quick about this. So the Jetboil Flash has a built-in igniter. It's a piezo igniter. Just like you would see on a gas stove or some lighters. So just a few important things when lighting the Jetboil. First of all, remember never to use an empty cup because it might melt. Secondly, always light the stove like this so not with the cup already on top as you open the valve there will be some gas build up in here so by the time you actually ignite it there might be more gas in here than you expect and you can end up with a very large flame so in terms of size it's almost the same size as a nalgene bottle it's slightly shorter uh, but also a bit wider and you can actually perfectly fit a nalgene bottle inside of it in terms of width. Just an important tip when putting on the cup. This is the pouring ring and this is a strainer. When you put it on, remember to have this slightly off center uh, because what will happen is as you're pouring, uh, hot air will come out of here. And if this is actually in the center, this will be directly um, above your hand and hot air and steam will come out of it and burn your hand potentially. So always put it slightly off center like this and you'll be fine. So now on lighting the stove, 
you twist this fully open and then you press on the igniter. Now the cup is fairly hot. You can easily hold it on this side though. And this is an indicator that the water is boiling. Um, although you can see it shaking and you can hear and see the steam coming out of it. So that's a good indication as well. So the jet bowl is, as the name suggests, very, very fast. It makes a lot of noise as you could hear, uh, but it works very well. And it's partially to do with this metal ring on the inside, what they call a flux ring. And this just helps to distribute and capture all the heat. And what also helps is there's just enough space in here for oxygen to get into. There's also some openings here on the bottom. But aside from that, it's a fairly closed off system. So it's also protected from the wind. Uh, which makes it much easier and there's less of a need for a windscreen and wind protection. So because it's so fuel efficient on just a small gas canister like this one you can boil 10 liters of water. This is 100 grams of fuel. These are the estimated results of course. It will depend on air temperature, temperature of the water, even elevation and uh, potentially also the quality of the fuel you're using. So that was boiling water. Also mentioned that you can do some cooking with it. Uh, let's have a look at that now. So if you want to cook on the Jetboil Flash, you'll need to purchase this separately. This is what they call a pot support. So this is just a piece of metal. You can mount it like this and now you literally have support for a pot or a frying pan. This is a frying pan from Trangia. So you can now use this on top of the jet bowl and it's fairly stable. There's one thing that I found very misleading about the jet bowl flash and I wish I did some more research on that before purchasing it. And that is this bit right here. This looks like a simmer ring but it's actually not. It's more of a on and off switch. You can twist it all you want, but there is no flame control. So what this means is when it's on, it's fully on. It's either that or off. So for cooking, that means that you'll be heating up just the center part of your pot. Uh, I've tried it with different pots as well. and this part gets heated and the rest doesn't. Why? Because the jet boil is made to boil water and it's not made for a frying pan. So again, it fits. If you really need to, you can use a different pot on top of it, uh, but you're very likely to burn your food. So how is it holding up after one year of use? You can see there are some burn marks over here and over here. And this is just from a bit of unstable gas. So I did buy a spare cozy. So if this one gets really, really bad, I can replace it. And um, that's a nice thing about Jetboil. Some parts are replaceable. So I've seen the stove itself being sold as a separate part. I've seen the pot, although it looked a bit differently. Not sure if the lid is sold separately. So looking at the bottom, it is a bit burnt. Not sure if the camera is picking up on that. And that's because I've used this on a twig stove as well. It worked, but it wasn't the best idea. It actually didn't burn. Like I said earlier, this is from gas. This isn't from the twig stove. It worked. It took a very, very long time to uh, boil some water, just a few twigs. But in case you need to, you still have that option. So the pot itself is great for boiling water, but not great for cooking. I've made some uh, oatmeal inside of it once it burned a bit, which was my mistake because there was enough water in there and I've never been able to fully get it clean. So that's that. Okay, so what are the good things about the jet bowl? First of all, I like the fact that everything fits inside of the pot. 
you can store your gas canister in there and I often also store some uh, coffee in it as well. The boil times are crazy fast. If I just want to make some coffee, by the time I have my cup ready, the water is boiled as well. In my experience, it's also very reliable. Uh, I've used it in the summer, but I've also used it in minus 15 degrees. And although it was very, very slow, it did boil water. Okay, so what are the things that are not so great about it? Actually, just the fact that it's not great for cooking because it doesn't have a simmering. Jetboil does sell uh, another model that allows you to control the flame actually, but the Jetboil Flash does not have that option. This is probably the reason why the pot support is not included with the Jetboil Flash as it is with the Minimo and the uh, Jetboil. Minimo does have flame control. Another plus is that it has a piezo igniter, which means you don't need to carry a lighter with you. Okay, so let's look at some alternatives. And there's Jetboil Zip, which is a stripped down version of the flash. It's a bit smaller and it doesn't have a built-in igniter. There's a Jetboil Minimo, which is slightly bigger. It's slightly wider and actually a bit shorter. The biggest advantage of the Minimo is that it has flame control, which is better for cooking. And there are also different versions of the Jetboil Flash. One is a combination with the Java kit. If we look at alternatives from other brands, Primus has similar products as well. Finally, let's see how it all packs down. First, we remove the stove, close this. So the stove will go in first. On top of the stove will go the support stand, which is perfectly made to fit in here. And this will protect the burner and the igniter. So always pack it like that. And on top of that, we'll be able to fit the gas canister, which will be resting on the support. So it won't be resting on the burner itself. And what's also nice is that if you want to bring the pot support this will also fit over the gas canister like this. So all of that goes inside. And there's still some space left. I like to fill up this space to prevent it from rattling. So I actually never use this pot support. I just wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, what I do use is this cup. It's a C to Summit cup and this also fits perfectly inside. And now with the lid on top, nothing is shaking, nothing is rattling, which is amazing. Then there's also the cup at the bottom. This cup isn't that durable. It's made from hard plastic and it has a small crack in here as well. What you could do is use this space to store an additional stove or even a lighter. Sometimes I will use this to store my coffee in there. Everything fits inside. 